Hello, Henry from Belgium here. Today, I show you my newest find. LEGO Set 377, Shell Service Station. In this video, I will also show you what to look for when you buy an old LEGO set. I give you useful info, tips and tricks on how to complete it. So keep watching the video. I found this old LEGO set at my favorite place, the flea market. This one dates from 1978. It has the theme, town and the sub-theme, classic. The set consists of 179 parts and two minifigs. The box and manual are included. Always a big plus. The condition of the box is not perfect, but not very bad either. It still has all the sides and cardboard. I personally find the box a bit crowded. Normally you have one nice picture of the set at the front and alternative builds at the back. But it is really full of pictures. It's too much. I also think the size is a bit unfortunate. The base plate does not fit in the inlay. You must first slide the cover over the inlay and then slide the base plate underneath. The condition of the manual is still good considering its age, only some tears. The drawings are not faded. Here you also see the same alternative builds, too bad they are not different from those on the box. When the manual is folded, it fits into the inlay without folding it in two again, what's good? The base plate, road 32 by 32 9 stud straight with road and crosswalk pattern. The crosswalk is a nice accent for that time and makes the base plate more interesting and original than others. I mainly see white, red and yellow, which is very typical for these types of gas stations. Fortunately I also see some black accents. And also transparent bricks, and a tree. Also the blue pants of the minifigs are well chosen. A nice blue accent. There are two minifigs in this set. It's positive that the minifigs already have a facial expression and limbs. A little less is that at that time the designers still worked with stickers on the torsos and no print. After more than 40 years, this doesn't look very nice anymore. You can also see from the vehicle that this set is quite old. It is still the period when cars were designed in which no minifigs could take place. For various reasons you can speak of a collector's item here. But pay attention if you are going to buy old LEGO sets. If you look on the internet you will immediately see that often a lot of money is asked for all kind of sets. It has become a real market. Unfortunately, not all ads are reliable. Sellers sometimes take advantage of the goodness of unsuspecting collectors. In many cases they only offer the set without box or manual, and in some cases not even complete. But if you really want to talk about a collector's item, then you should definitely have the box and manual. If you look at some sets, especially the older ones, you can often assemble them yourself for 90% with ordinary bricks. So don't let your head run wild when you read things as, collector's item, vintage and very rare. You must always assume that if for some reason you run out of money and you have to sell the set, you will have to find a buyer and get at least the same amount of money back.
So don't pay unrealistic prices. There is certainly nothing wrong with collecting loose sets, but a good suggestion that I want to give, do not pay more than the cost of the bricks. And when you look for sets with box and manual, do so at flea markets or garage sales. Often there are pieces short and you can negotiate with the seller. You can find missing pieces relatively easily and cheaply, but you will never find a separate box. On this website you will find a collection of small webshops. There is always a seller who has your missing piece in his store. Let's apply this to this set for a moment. To start with, I was able to buy this cheaply at the flea market for 25 euros. I had seen that a few things were missing and replaced, so I was able to negotiate a good price. The underside of the wheels is not correct. This should be grey instead of black, so I can easily replace it. I have two of them here in my spare parts. There are also some small basic parts missing that I can easily replace. This blue part is not quite correct either. The top has to be closed, just like these grey bricks. Unfortunately, I don't have that in my spare parts, so I can look it up, order and replace them. So a small investment is required. But unfortunately, the stickers are not quite complete either. And that's more difficult, but not impossible. When I look this up, I see that there are two sellers who offer the full original sticker sheet. Their asking price is too much for me. You may wonder if this is realistic, but I suppose there are very few such sticker sheets, so you can in fact ask what you want and hope someone will buy it. In my case it is better to look at it, sticker by sticker. More specifically, I'm missing four stickers on the gas pumps. And as if by miracle, here I find a Belgian seller who offers four stickers with the brick for 0.15 euro cents each. Here on the floor is a black brick. That should represent a car battery, and there should be a sticker at the top. The offer is more limited, because this sticker only appears in this set and is therefore quite rare. But here I find a seller from the Netherlands who offers it for 2.33 euros. Which I think is a very acceptable price, because then I will complete my set for 100%. So to summarize, I will pay a maximum of 10 euros together with the shipping costs for the missing pieces. That means that I will have a complete set for 35 euros in a used, but still acceptable condition. Don't forget that everything is over 40 years old. When I look at the market and ads of realistic sellers, then I see that I even have the opportunity to make a nice profit. For 50 or even 60 euros it should be possible to find a buyer. And I probably will, because I don't think the set is special enough for my collection. In the end you cannot collect all sets. Choices have to be made. And also the screamy box in particular is a turn off for me to keep it. Feel free to write down your comments under this video. You can also like and subscribe. It's free. Thanks for watching and until the next video.